Hello, this is Adrian Obi, also known as Capricorn Tigress of Astrology Look Inside.com, Astro Numeraland, and Perceptive Guidance.com. And I'm doing something different. I'm doing 2024 manifestation or manifesting light code oracle card readings, and I'm doing them for all of the signs. I'm currently on the sign of Leo. So we're going to go ahead and do that for Leo. Now, how it works is this I am an intuitive and so um, I actually look at the cards and the cards that want to speak to me light up I know it sounds crazy but it works so I just look for the light and that's what I'm doing and it takes a little bit longer but it's worth it because it gives me the cards you're meant to hear so let's go ahead and get started we're going to be starting this for the sign of Leo I'm closing my eyes now and looking What is here? It's like in between, isn't it? Oh, how weird. I'm sensing it's decision. I, I mean, it could have been, I, I, I think it's decision. And <clears throat> Leo, I feel like this makes sense to me in a way because today we're in Capricorn. So for Leo, I mean, with this Capricorn, it would be what in your sixth house of health. And, um, you know, maybe you have a decision. I don't know if it's a decision about health, about work, about some structure or procedure that you might have a decision to make on, but I'm just sensing it might have something to do with an activity like your health, your work, um, some kind of decision making that you have to do there. But the other thing about the decision is that, you know, we are moving into Aquarius season and when we get into Aquarius season, which is just about four days away or five days, I think, um, it's going to be opposing Leo. And so you're, you're going to be feeling some opposition coming in and you most likely will have some important decisions that have to be made as a result of whatever this opposing force or source is going to do over the next 30 days or so. So that is probably, it makes sense the way it started. And I, the reason in particular I thought of it is look at the color of the card. This is like so Aquarius. So it just seems to me that th this is all about um, this, really this hue reminds me of Aquarius and just looks like lightning striking and so I feel like this is definitely in my opinion something to do with Aquarius season coming up and the decisions that you might have to make during season while you're facing opposition maybe actual physical opposition from people like let me just say this an enemy I'm, I mean I'm just making I'm blowing this all up and I don't know this might actually happen for someone but <clears throat> let's say that, like you have an enemy and I'm, I'm sensing men here and you're out uh, somewhere pulls up on you and he's like what's up what's up what do you, you want to do what you want to do you know what I'm talking about men so it could be something like that. And at that moment, you've got a couple of decisions to make, right? Are you going to go into your pocket and pull out whatever you got in there? I don't know what you got. I'm not saying you do. But I mean, and if you don't, should you maybe carry it to be on the safe side? Like, I want you to be aware that Aquarius season is opposing Leo. Your enemies are going to come out over the next 30 days. So be prepared. Maybe that's the decision is the preparation. Now you can also prepare yourself for peace by going into meditation, doing things like binaural beats or EFT tapping, listening to, you know, the, the, the sophagio tone. There's so many different ways we can really peace out. You know what I mean? And just peace ourselves out. But I can't guarantee you 
that the people around you, um, Leo, are going to be in a good place because it's a time of opposition. That's that time of year. Okay. I just wanted to be completely above board about that. So there might be some decisions that have to be made because of the way people are coming at you or talking with you and all that type of thing. So let's pull another card, see what other um, uh, lights come to me here. I'm just going to go right back up here and I always keep getting a ping up in this corner but I'm going to keep going and seeing if I see a brighter light. Nature. This really sh sh shown for me. I'm wondering if some Leos You know have to get back into nature now i don't know what that means i don't know if it means you're you're going on a vacation because it's winter um if you're someone who likes to go out and do outdoor sports um or something that has to do with nature um i just i know that uh, there's a lot of snow if you're in america okay <laughs> Like, I don't know where you you are in America, but if you are in America, we had just like the worst ice cold front that came over and it, it's just everywhere. There's probably some kind of ice or snow. So you might have to get out there and deal with the ice or the snow or whatever it is out there. And so just be aware of that, that this is nature. Um, it might be that you're, we're dealing with nature. You, I mean, this almost looks like uh, like snow coming, right? So I just want you to be aware of that if you are a Leo that you might have to deal with nature. And it's sometimes getting back in nature is really good. I mean, it really is for centering ourselves. And if things are not, um, you know, working out the way we want or it's something just seems weird, I just feel like um, getting back into nature is just definitely one of the best things you can do is the best way to get centered is to get back into nature okay so let's go to the next card let's see what other message we have for the sign of leo let's see leo i'm gonna go ahead and go down here just real quick just looking for the light looking for the shiny bright there is something here. Magic. Wow. Okay. So nature and magic. I, you know, I just feel like you have this decision, right? And maybe the the decision is you know whether to go out into nature uh it could be something magical i just feel like whatever it is to be really careful of your decisions because i feel like it could lead you into something different i don't the way they have magic with a k on the end it also makes me feel like you need to be careful of perhaps someone uh using black magic and i hate saying stuff like that but you know it's out there there's a lot of people who practice different things and you need to be aware of it so that you're not doing you know little things and opening yourself up to someone who might use some of that magic on you also i am sensing if you are using magic that this is a decision that um you know that you need to be be aware of uh, but it, it just sends something that has to do with nature. So getting something from uh, natural, uh, organic uh, ingredients and stuff like that might be important. Anyway, I don't know why this was the reading you got and why this was the message I got. But I do sense that there is magic coming for you, Leo. And I do sense that, you you know, when you get out in nature, that it's going to probably be beneficial to you and that you've got some kind of a decision coming okay this has been my reading for you this is really for 2024 this is your manifesting uh reading for 2024 and i hope it ma uh, manifest in a good positive uplifting way for all leos much love to you leo